some demo this. What a machine. This is the DVF 6500 Doosan from Mills CNC. Uh, I'm going to talk with Rich Wilson and find out where this machine fits in the marketplace here in the UK. Rich, so we're here at Mills CNC today. Um, we're looking or we're standing in front of the DVF 6500 five axis machine. Why, why have we selected this model to look at? Well, it's uh, sort of our go-to five axis machine sends within our portfolio. Um, and the applications that we've been looking at throughout the, the past 12 to 18 months, customers are, are looking into five axis. It's the, the middle range for us in, in respect that we've got the, the 5000, which is the smallest model. Then we've got the, the 6500 and we've also got the, the 8000. So if you had to look at the differences between those three fundamentally, what would they be? Size, capacity? Yeah, size definitely. So, so the 5000 is, is the smallest model within the range um, and that's got um, a, a diameter of 550 swing. Uh, the 6500, you've got 840 diameter uh, and the 8000 goes up to uh, one metre. Um, and that's also got turning capability. That's quite important, that turning capability, isn't it? That adds an additional element, doesn't it, for yeah, that one-hit machine? Yeah, definitely. I mean, and, and it's, it, it, in my time with Mills, is that the customers are really looking into sort of the, the five axes of turning and trying to get the parts off in one process. Um, this particular model's got the Fanec 31IB5 control. Uh, we do also offer it with, with the Hyden Hain and the Siemens control. The tool capacity has got 90 tools. The, the tool magazine is an important one and I want to come back to that because of the automation that can be added to these machines. From an operator coming here to look at this, the first thing, and I do this quite commonly, is I look and I step inside. The access is good, isn't it? But also the way the table's supported left and right. There's no, there's no interference at the front. And also, the, uh, I'm assuming that roof can concertina so you can load parts, is that correct? correct? Yeah, correct. So you've got, um, from a, a table load capacity, you've got 600 kilograms on that. So it's quite important, as you said, for, for that to be able to move. So if people have got sort of, for, sort of for heavy work pieces, you've got the overhead cranes which can load the part in there. But then from an operator point of view, if they need to clock the part or, or probe the part, you've got good access for the, for, for, the, for the operator to walk into the machine tool, which is very important. We do often see when we see a machine that's got that Y axis that's supported both sides and the X moving on the column, it does offer you a lot more stiffness, doesn't it? It offers you the ability to machine in any area of the table with the same stability. Correct. That's quite important, yeah, isn't 100%. it? Yeah, 100%. I mean, with Trinium being fully supported with, with roller gear cam technology as well, that's a really, really key element for the machine. As, as you just said, everybody's chasing microns and accuracies, so we need to have the machine on, on, on the correct platform to start off with. That the machine is standard, has got 20 bar through spindle coolant. It's a face and taper spindle as well, uh, being BT40. Now let's come back to the expandable tool changer and the fact that where that really fits is when you start adding automation to these machines. So five axes is, is automation in some senses, but by adding a pallet pull takes it to the next level. Is that something you've got here with the DVF range? Yeah, with, with, the, with the DVF 5000, the, the machine has got, um, it's got capability to have what's called an auto work changer. So you, you have your, your conveyor coming out of the left and you have your auto work changer uh, out of the right. Um, we can retrofit that in the field, but we've also, um, as you've seen in, on, in previous videos, we, we've got what's called a synergy range within the automation. With the 90 tool magazine, people are really looking for not having to strip the machine down and change tools. So they're looking for sister tooling to automate where possible. Uh, and with, with the pallet pull, the auto work change around the synergy, it really gives that customer that lights out uh, machining. And lights out machining is becoming, uh, you know, the order of the day, isn't it, for a yes. lot of companies these Correct. days. Yeah. They want to be able to press the button in the evening and come in in the morning to finish parts. They are, and people, you tend to find now on the day shift, they're doing more of the prismatic one-off components, and then, then they're looking for the versatility for, for the lights out machining at night. So customers are starting to look into sort of their portfolio of works. I'm really trying to do sort of your, your, your low running batch work in the day and then at night they're sort of to do the, the unmanned machining at night. Yeah, um, availability. I come here today and the, there is a lot of machines here and that's not because you're, you're not selling them, it's because you bring them in ready to service the, the market, don't you? How quickly, feasibly could someone purchase a five axis like this and, and have it installed? I mean, from it's, a, it's a good question really because sometimes five axis applications, it can take quite a number of weeks, months for customers to get that justification together on one they want the machine. And, and nine times out of ten when customers make that decision and they want a five axis, they want it straight away. So what Mills, CNC, Doosan are very, very good at is having the machine available to turn it round. Obviously sometimes you've got to um, 
put your local supplier options on, whether it be a conveyor probing system or upgrading your coolant pressure. In most applications, we can turn something around in probably two to four weeks from, from order.